Hey everybody, my name is Hydrogon Lollipop, but you knew that already. And this is Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. I don't know how many times I'm gonna use that intro. I don't know, I've been watching a bunch of Josh, so. I don't know, I, I like. In case you're new to me, I like to copy people's intros. My normal intro is Hey everybody, it's Hydrogon Lollipop, but. Yeah, sometimes it's just your random intros from other Let's Players and see if you can guess some in the comments if I don't reveal it. Put down your shield, Resbit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. And... Reboot system. Yeah, Resbits can actually power down your system. Which can be very annoying. I suggest a super missile. But yeah, sometimes they're not always available. Uh oh, run. Ah, crud, reboot. I'm just gonna leave. <clears throat> we have 17 missiles. Okay. What is this? Nothing. It doesn't even matter to us. Well, we should be able to... Um... Oh yeah, we just go around it. I forgot. Oh yeah, um... <clears throat> I think it's... Green. No, I need to go read the thing. I don't remember it. Okay, so basically it's going to give you a hint. System Online, Gyrocone is known as follows. Amber, Cobalt, Crimson, Emerald. So, okay, so... Amber's orange. Cobalt is blue. Crimson is red. And green is emerald. So it goes... Orange... Blue... Red... And then we go to Emerald. It's not a hard puzzle, if you know what color other terms for colors are. <clears throat> oh, I hate these things. It's creep me out. Mecha droids. Can I avoid it? If it doesn't see you in its laser thing, you won't it won't have to fight it. And if you touch it, you have to fight it auto um, automatically. Whoa, that's dead. <laughs> Where are you shining your laser? Not over here. Ah, oh, crap. I don't know if it saw me, though. Oh, it saw me. <laughs> Denzium. Let's just go into the dark world and avoid that fight with that stupid bot thing. <clears throat> <clears throat> There's something in my throat. I mean, really. What the heck? Samus is like... This cutscene takes too long! Okay, so... Over here we've got, I believe, and... Nope. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Um, can't go through there. Need spider ball to do that. Oh, definitely don't want to go here yet. I'm just gonna get a scan quickly. Dark Talon Metroid. Now leave. No, don't eat me. Hey, look, it's one of the things already. Um, unfortunately, we do we do need Spider Ball to get it. Oh my gosh, I hate these things. Oh, what is this? Ingworm Cache. 
warrior ing over here. Just gonna ignore it. Probably shouldn't be ignoring the enemies so they can kill me. <laughs> More warrior ings. Come and follow me if you dare. Haha. -ha. Come on. Over here. He's gonna kill himself, isn't he? He's too smart for that. I don't know, I think he did just kill himself. <laughs> Uh, crap. Where do I go? Um, I don't know. How did you get over here? I can't get in there, or can I? Oh, I can, duh. I thought that was blocked off. Ingworm cache. This is basically like your, um, pod that you can get items from and ammo. Never forget ammo for in this area. Wait, wait, no! Don't crush me! Oh, okay. Okay, let's hop on down and oh my gosh, there are tons of those little tiny... Poison dart things. Night barbs. You are going to want to do this. Even if it takes you a couple seconds or even a minute. You're going to want to do this because they will annoy the heck out of you while you're trying to do this. And they'll kill you. And you can get a ton of energy for it. So yes. Um, go into your dark visor. I think. No. Wrong. Moron. Open this. And we're going to scan something in here. Actually, we can't do anything in here yet. Um, I thought this was a different room. Let's just leave. <laughs> oh, gosh, Ing. Okay. Um, this is the right room, right? Hive Dynamo Works? Yeah. Well, it's got to be because the portal's right there. How do I open it? Scanning. Indestructible barrier shield. Scans indicate presence of a control system. Controls not present in the visible spectrum or current time space. Oh. Oh, yeah. I remember that took me like almost a couple days to figure that out. This is why you take care of the night barbs. I, I could have sworn there was a real reason that you. Because if you don't, you won't get this. And they'll just fly in the way of your missiles. I think that's good enough. Oh, that's nice. Bunch of missiles. And your missiles will also lock onto them, which is not nice. And I just did. Okay. There we go. It took me a couple days to figure out. And I didn't even read the message. I go to show you guys, you need to read. If you don't read, you'll be stuck there for days. Or you could just watch me and not read, and I'll read it for you. Lazy bums. Look at all these destroyed things. Holy crap, that scared me! Oh my gosh. I just literally jumped out of my chair. I thought it was something totally different. Okay, um... Oh man, I, my heart is racing right now. One dark beam shot takes care of that. You can, uh, just jump over this, I believe? I think. Hop, hop. Nope, I don't know if you can or not. So, let's scan this thing. This is called a Mechalops, and it's basically like the Cyclops in the first game. It'll just take you out. Uh, if you use a boost ball, you can get out of its grasps. Yeah, it's really pathetically easy. Now we can just blow this thing up with one dark beam shot. 
and get into the room that you will be coming to a lot in this LP or in this game. Can I get the center ball? Yes, I can. Okay, let's scan that while we're here. Oh, object out of scanning reach. Power relay. How do I open this thing again? Oh yeah, from the other side, a spinner. Some lore that we can't read. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, be careful in there. I don't want to get killed. So, this is basically what we have to do now. Go into Morph Ball, go through this little hole. Go through this little hole. And hop into the thing. And now we've got to play a game. Basically, it's just gonna... Oh, duh. These. It's just going to annoy you. I don't know simple stuff. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Easy. I might be stuck here forever. No, wrong. Oh, yeah. Oh! Wait. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it should be a lot easier to do than that, but... Then you have this thing active. Hop in and bomb it to get the first layer to stop spinning very fast. And it just slowly goes down. And we have a missile door, so thank you all for watching. Remember, please subscribe. This has been Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye. I wouldn't be that vicious to you. Really? You think I am? We're not going to end the part here. We were barely have done anything. What would I name this part? Doing nothing? No, I've already named that on a different part. Joking. There is a creature out there. Oh, we don't even have to scan it, do we? Oh, we've already scanned it. What the heck? Open the door. And go into this little thing. And now we can walk to the other side. Joy. Um, there's a crack up there, but I do think it requires something else. Like, uh, I think it's power bombs. There's a lot of stuff for power bombs in this game. I mean, gosh. Ooh, an elevator. Yeah, this elevator goes up to the top. Where's the spinner? Oh my gosh, how did I miss that? <laughs> Where is the spinner? This is where I have to go right now, right? Yes. Okay. Here's something in here. What is that noise? I don't know. But, you're going to want to, to be able to get up here. You're going to want to hit something. I think it's that. I know there's something that you can't see that you're going to want to hit so you can easily get back up here. Oh, this. Is it active or current power? Or is there something we're missing? Because I know I did... Um, wait, what is that? Or what are these? Oh, yeah. This is what you want to do. Shoot all four of those. Same exact time. And we can have a kinetic orb cannon appear. <gasps> oh my gosh, that scared me. Off goes your head. Its head fell off. You know what's awesome? Watch this. That's an instant kill to anything in the game. So that's very nice. And we did get something else. 
So if you have a kinetic orb cannon and there's an enemy right in front of you, just use a kinetic orb cannon. It kills it instantly. Can't get that missile expansion down there for a while. But what? Oh my gosh, they're everywhere! They're everywhere! Oh my gosh. Oh no. See, this is why you don't want to touch the ground. Because now, we've got my favorite enemy in the game! Dark Quad MBs and Dark... Scan the head. Thank you. Dark Quad CMs. It should have been called Dark Quad BMs. Get it? Are the doors locked? I think they actually are. No, they're not. Okay. I just want you to fight him, but I'm not going to fight it. Don't fight it. Actually, they might be locked. Mm. Nope, not locked. Okay. Just an annoying enemy. And now we can go in here and talk to the last Luminoth that's living. Because all the other ones have died. <laughs> I am so crazy and maniacal. Mononic Mononicile. So this is probably the coolest one because we're all out in space. It's so high tech. What is this? All the red dots. Seems like you'd it hurt, you'd hurt yourself if you stub your toe on one of those. Like they're explosive. They're explosives. You stub your toe. Kaboom! <laughs> Hear the word of Olir, last sentinel of the fortress temple. May they serve you well. This used to be a great fortress, a safe haven for our people during the war. It also holds portals to the Ing Hive, the heart of their dark tribe. During the war, I built a number of mechanical sentinels to join me in battle. They were made to fight the Ing, and fight them they did for a time. One by one, the Ing corrupted them. Now they attack with no mercy. Many went to Dark Aether with their Ing masters. Expect them when you are in the hive. The Ing like to use them as guards. The Ing will protect their home with great ferocity. In all of our battles, the Hive has never fallen. I have updated your translator module. You can now access devices and doors coded with cobalt holograms. Search the areas now open to you. If only I could join you, redeem my fallen armor, honor in battle, but my time has passed. Good luck. Let the I let the light of Aether show you the way. Okay, after a pep talk from Olir, we can now access every single hologram in the game, meaning that we have nowhere we can't go from holograms. So, that means once we get this last light, the ing will die. And die they will! I, I don't know, I always, I've always thought this game was so awesome and dramatic. I've always liked that. Like the huge part where you're the only one who can save this entire planet. I, I've always loved that part. So, there's a new creature here somewhere. I know there's something we have to scan. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, this is what we have to scan. Um, come over here. 
and scan this. Activating the kinetic orb cannon. You don't know how long that took me to do that. <laughs> First time I played this. And then activate the net the other one in case you need to come back soon. What is that? Huh. Hmm. I wonder. Okay, you're going to want to take your scanning visor out and scan this thing, because it's the only time you can scan it. The Spider Guardian. This is my favorite boss in the game, just because it's not really a boss. It's more of like a puzzle kind of thing. So, let's fight this boss. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is mash him into the electrical fields you see and do that a couple of times. This is the only time you can scan him out there, so make sure if you haven't scanned it, just turn off the power if you're going for 100% on scans. Oh yeah, never mind. Uh, you can just sit right here and do, do a nice bomb. Once you do that, he'll go uh, angry and make a little thing appear. You can't actually hurt him when he does that. But now he'll go really angry and charge into the electrical field. And hurt himself. Can we jump? No, we can't. So yeah, this is a really fun boss. What you're going to want to do is basically... Um, bomb him where sit where he's going to be at and just bomb there like right here I'm just gonna bomb right there to make him angry now we go up and hit him again you have to hit him a couple times I believe before the platform will appear Come on, seriously, stop going in there, Samus. Ah, oh, crud. There we go. That activates the little opening thing and makes him go green. That helps the environment. Now that little gateway is opened. We can hop up here. And bomb that, allowing him to go and zap himself and kill himself. No, but do damage to himself. Very good. I don't know, I've always loved this boss because it's so puzzly. It reminds me of all these puzzle games I used to play when I was a lot younger. There. It's, it's not a hard fight. I mean, it's a really fun fight. You may, if you're not, like, good at these kind of things, you maybe will think it's hard. But I don't know. If you're if you're good at the controls of Morph Ball, if you like Morph Ball, then this fight will be for you. And another cool thing is, it's an entire Morph Ball fight. There's no part where you're out of Morph Ball. That's why you need to scan him right before you come into the fight. Because then you won't be able to scan him if you don't. Very good. That should activate the little thing. Nope, not yet. Ah, oh, man, I thought I could hit him in time. There. That activates the thing. So now we can just boost up to here. Roll on in. And quick, go down. You don't want to accidentally kill ourselves. Or hit get hit by him. That's what I meant. Spider Guardian will be pretty easy from this place on. There's only one more real area room thing. And if you're low, running low on health, you can just bomb these and get some items. Which I think is pretty cool of them. 
like 50 energies and stuff. Okay, so this next part is pretty awesome. You just sit here, bomb, bomb him again. You can be pretty vicious to him if you'd like. Cause I mean, it may be a little creature and it may be cute, but it's not a little cute creature. I don't even know why I said that. That was like the most random thing ever. <clears throat> I love the layout of this fight. You can just sit here and pound him. Oh, crud. Well, now we got two things opened. And, oh no, I think I just trapped him. Well, oh well. So he's gonna have to wait. Yep, okay. So we're gonna have to do that again. You're gonna wanna wait until you're on the thing. Now open up the portal and quickly run into it. Okay, go to the other one. Remember, you will turn red and go really fast. Don't roll off the edge and get into the portal thing. And get hit again. He's got one more HP left, or one more hit left. It's not that bad of a boss. Just bomb him repeatedly. And get into this one. Hop up here, get into this one. This part can be a little hectic. With the running around and morph ball. Uh, in there. Up. Very good. Now that it's all done, just drop down and watch him go to his doom. Spider Guardian defeated! Cool. So now, if we go over there, we can see that we got the. Spider Ball! Even though it didn't even say it on the screen yet. Spider Ball acquired! So that's pretty awesome. Now we have Spider Ball, and we can pretty much go anywhere. There are little tiny baby pill bug things. Can't scan those, though. You'd have to um, go out and back in. I, I don't even know how to scan those, but we can scan them later. Actually, I think those are just pill bugs. And we've got a missile expansion right here. Very nice. And we can just roll out and be right back to here. And... Um... I don't want to go there. So, let's scan this Luminoth, because we haven't done that yet. Scan him. He is... Sea Ox Testament. We don't care about him. And now let's take the elevator and go down to the save station. I think there's a save station. This part is getting really long, so I have to end it soon. Power relied to the, to the elevator. Now we're going down. Whoa! Whoa, that was a fast elevator. It's really fast. It's pretty cool. And uh, right there. That's where we're going to end it off. I'm just going to go over there really quick. Um, now you can see that this is gate uh, gated off. They expect you to right now just go in to get the key, but I'm just going to end it off and get the key next time. Because I don't want to fight anything, and I think we do have to fight it once we get the key. So yeah, that's not a very good thing. So go through this tunnel. Pokeboo things. I, I don't know why I call them Pokeboos. Isn't that like the name in Metroid Prime 1? I don't know. Open the door. And jump down. Yeah, this has been a really long part. Sorry, guys. So, yes. Go into this door. And thank you all for watching. Remember, please subscribe. This has been Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Thank you all for watching. And goodbye. <laughs>